and today I'm going to guide you and teach you how to create your website using the wordpress.com but this activity is just a simple creation of website and you don't have to worry about the content because later on or from the next coming activity you will try to use another website and aside from that you can also choose to go back from this site but first just type wordpress.com and you will be redirected to the wordpress.com site if you have already your account you can click the login but if you're going to create your new account you can also click this get started so if you want to create your new account just type your email address your username and you can choose a password but you can also connect your Google account and your Apple account here so if sample if I want to choose to continue with Google so meaning I want to log in in the wordpress.com using my Google account so just click continue with Google and make sure you need in this activity you have to use your personal Gmail account and not your FSU account so if you are already in your step 2 so you have to write your your domain For example I want to have a uniform website so let's try to make this as mtech212 then lmop so example mtech212 so this is our subject code and your initials so example for me Lourdes Marie Obatula so that's why we have this domain mtech212 lmop okay now uh, you can choose different extensions so the, the most common extension is the .com you can also see some the .tech, the .net, the .org, the .blog, and the .club and of course there are still a lot of extensions in this so if you can see here there is an offer here from the wordpress.com it says free but after a year it will renew for this amount but we don't want to spend money just creating a free website so don't select any of this but just select um, what extension you want to have so for me I just choose the .com and then look at the lower part here so if you see this one so meaning it will renew but if you see this free so we need to click so meaning your WordPress website will be like this so this will become your URL later so mtech 212 lmobwordpresscom and you need to select so if you see this one there's still another um, offer here but for sure we should not select any of it because uh, this is a, just a sample activity of creating a site on how to create a WordPress site so now just click this start with a free site and later you will see the settings of your website so you will be redirected to the page my home where you can see the back end of your website so this is not the site actually this is just the back end or the setting part of your website so if you notice if you just created a new site you will see this one okay you will see this one this is a guide of your website now uh, what is the next step of your site to be created okay next you need to name your site so just click name your site then click this name your site button here now in your name site um, we need to identify what site you're going to have but for this activity for me to identify that you are really watching this video so your site title must be Empowerment Technology Portfolio. So meaning your site title will, will have this uniform text or uniform title. And you can make a site tagline. So for at this moment, you can make your own tagline. So we only have our uniform site title but your tagline you can just create your own and then click all done okay so you can also set your site icon but for me let's just uh, move to the next 
okay so once you already have this one you go back to return to my home and if you see there is already check in your name your site part so now let's create a site menu so for now what what if you want to add a new menu but you can also skip for now but example I want to show you this one so add menu so by default the WordPress site have already four default pages or menu so these are the menus here okay the home the blog the about and contact so since we don't want to add we can still change this one we can edit Okay, how would you like to edit this one so example click this primary and you will see your menu here so I want to change the blog into okay I want to make it portfolio since I want this page to have all my activity for this subject then after that just click this one and example about okay just I want to just stick to this other page here after that if you want to go back just click save changes and you will go back to the home page by clicking this close tab so next at this moment you will get another check for the create a site menu then you need to update your home page so of course we need to do something that will identify that this website is created by you so just click edit home page so by the way this is just a sample if you just created a website for the first time but if you already created something and you just want to edit so of course uh, it will have a different um, outlook but for this part so so this is showing your home page so how would you change this picture so make sure if you want to change this one make sure you're going to click and you have to make sure that the border is on the image because if you click here you can see that the learn more button is being selected and also same with the other part of the header so just click outside from this text so maybe a little bit inside of this image and then you can select replace so we have different options here we have open media library if you have already images there you can select it from Google photos if you have stocks there and for me let's try this pixel free photo so I want to select those um, image that has a computer picture in it okay so you see you can see the some of the image here so example I want to choose this one because it looks very decent so just select and click select for that image to insert in your or to be inserted in your pages so see it has a great outlook and from that point you can see that your website is nice to look on then so we will not uh, edit here but if you want to just click any part of it and just edit whatever you want to edit in this part okay so next if you want to edit another page make sure you need to click the update because if you will not update the image that you replace a while ago will not be carried out when you launch your website so make sure you have already clicked update and click this one so that you can go back to the block editor sidebar so here's the other page that you have for your website so example I want to go to about page and I want to change a little bit there just to make sure that you can follow some of the example being shown in this video so in this part you will see um, it is a page that talks about uh, introducing yourself who you are what you do and where you are so you can also change the context here or the content text here and the picture so example um, all I want to do is to change the picture just click the picture and click replace and again 
you can choose from these options and for me I would like to upload it from my computer and choose the pictures from my okay, example this one okay. see so you can put something that will reflect your your website so again if you want to take or to carry this changes you made in this page you just click update okay you can explore actually from this part there are different explorations you can see here so make sure you, if you want to carry the the things you edit here example the colors the picture the text so make sure you need to click the update and go back again to the black editor sidebar and go to another uh, the other pages example the blog so I think it is already changed into portfolio right we already changed the, the page there into portfolio so just click the text and just change it into portfolio and then you can also change your image here by replacing it from wherever you want to get your pictures using the options given and of course okay, I'll choose another image just to reflect what I want to reflect in this changes so like that so after that so actually this is just an overview on how to create a WordPress site from the start or from scratch okay so that's it you don't have to put something here but um, for the upcoming activities you will create a great content for this but maybe just maybe you can just use another uh, website maker so you will know more here so after that since you uh, decided to make it everything fine everything goes well so just click update and after that you can go back to the home so just click my home and you see that your checklist here have been carried out properly so for you to be able to publish your website as you can see this one that you have this launch your site this means that you're going to make your site public or published so just click the launch site and again don't forget to use the free site that you have chosen for the first time you created your account so just click this one and continue with your free site and hooray your site will be ready shortly so from that point you will have a free WordPress website so again you will be returning to the home page and for the final part you can you will receive this notification you launched your site so what do you want to do next for this activity is you need to click the visit site and from that part you need to just copy the URL and paste it on the discussion page of this elaborate activity thank you and hope you learn and you enjoy from this video and we will have more video tutorials coming so God bless and keep safe. Bye.